Hello everyone, welcome back to your music video with YouTube uh, Scorpion Rack. So today here with another music video. This one is from You Can See Hey Cow, the feature of Capital T called Dashnise. Let's go watch it and know it's gonna be excellent. <laughs> Extremely insane about this song was its beat. I loved the beat. I was enjoying it so much. Well, whew, basically in Scorpio Racks, before we give our opinion on everything, we have to give some scores and analyze the songs in detail. So let's do it together. But first, I just want to say it was awesome. So for the music, I was loving the beat as I said. I think the beat changed like five different styles in this um, music in like in this three minutes. I think it had five different sliced, uh, styles and although it was only two featuring singers, like the only two singers singing we had around four or five or six different flows and around five different beats this shows how much time it was actually spent on the music and it was so complicated and I was loving it so much it had everything like starting off with the slow pace it had pitches high and low it had also paces slow and fast starting off first we had a very slow pace and a very sad tone then the beat started to warm up and become faster then the beat dropped then although it was a sad song it was having such a good beat oh my god you know what i'm not gonna even waste time basically even with the flows of the singer the second singer also changed the octave intro walls with a very bass voice it was so good in general, if I want to give a score for the music, I will give a score of a 10 out of a 10. I think this song deserves to get a 10 out of a 10 because it had everything, okay? 
I loved it so much. The styles of the beats, the variation between the flows, the changing of the pitches, the octave intervals, everything. If we had a female singer as well, I would have been addicted to this song if it also had a female singer. But even now, it was excellent. I will go to the music video now. The music video was also good. It was sort of off in the bathtub. It was such meaningful. The story behind it was very creative. The meanings behind it were creative. The blood stains were so uh, symbolized, were used to symbolize the death and the pain, the killing that they killed each other. It was very meaningful. We had different camera angles and rotations and close-ups of the bodies of each person's faces, which was so meaningful. Then we had changings in locations. We had locations around four to five different locations with different lightnings and with different costumes. Going to back to the same story idea, in fact, it was excellent. I think the music video was only missing two small things. Firstly, dancers. This music video was missing dancers, and although the singers did lip sync, but I think it was missing a group of dancers at least dancing a bit in the backgrounds, or it could have had some scenes of just dancing. That would be excellent. And it was also missing a bit of editing, okay? Now, this editing could be normal editing, could be animations, could be transitions, or could be green screen editing, any of these. Um, these two things were the things that were missing in the music video. So if I want to give a score for the music video, I will give a score of an 8 out of a 10. So lower than the music and 2 marks less out of a 10 because of the two points that I said. But if you think my grade was unfair, I'll just say the music was the thing that is important and the music was the best. But if you think my grades were unfair, if you think I gave a very high or very low, very low, you're free to say whatever you want in the comment section down below. I promise I'll read them and reply to you. That was it with this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to. And now, the other piece.